watercolor leaf art with Miss Bully. Why are we doing this? We want to explore different techniques to capture the texture of objects. We're also using color in a way that there's gradation, so there's dark and light versions of that color. We're also going to try to use unity in our artwork by paying special attention to interesting parts of the piece, maybe by going over these with a sharpie later on. And it's also fun. We're going to be using watercolor paints, so we'll need our visual journal or a piece of watercolor paper, some brush, some water, and maybe some paper towel. You'll need to collect some leaves or flowers from outside, and you may choose to use a sharpie or other outliner um, after you've created your leaf prints. When you go outside to collect your leaves or flowers, just make sure that you go with an adult or that you're supervised by an adult if you go out in your backyard. Uh, also make sure that all the things that you pick, you are allowed to pick and that they're not dangerous or poisonous in any way. So just make sure that you check with an adult and ask before picking. Okay, so I have my little collection of leaves. I probably have a little bit too many. Um, you can use uh, fewer leaves if you like. So I'm going to spray my watercolor paints to get them all woken up. And that's an optional step. And now I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to wet my paper. Um, so I'm going to just paint water all over my paper. Okay. And then once my paper is pretty saturated with water, I'm going to dip my wet brush into my paints and then I'm just going to color the whole paper with some pretty wet watercolor paints. So I need the water in order for this to work. So I want to cover it and be pretty dipping into my water cup pretty often. Hopefully you can see that my paper does have some puddles of water and stuff like that all over it. So you want to make sure your paint is pretty watery. Then I'm going to press down some of my leaves on top of my wet watercolor. If you're noticing that it's sort of started to dry a little bit, you can even wet it again with your paintbrush. Some of your leaves are going to stick down really easily. And some of them might be kind of curly and not really want to stick down very much. And that's okay. You just kind of do your best um, to stick them down without uh, moving them around a ton. I'm also sticking them where the bottom side, like the vein side of the leaf is down on the paper so you can I did all of mine that way you can experiment with both in yours if you like okay so now um, just to give some extra contrast I'm gonna hold down my leaf with my finger some of them are stuck down really really well and they won't really move and some of them I really do need to hold down with my finger. And I'm just going to use a bit of a darker watercolor paint. So in this case, I'm using a darker color. I'm actually using brown, which is quite more, much more darker than yellow, um, which I had in the background. But what I mean is a saturated paint. So not a lot of water and a lot of paint. Very painty watercolors. And I'm just painting around where I've placed the leaves. So I hold the leaf, I try to hold it as much as I can so it's not wiggling around, and then I paint around it, just kind of carefully with my brush. And I just sort of let the, um, the paint that I'm painting on just blend in with the background and just look really nice. So I'm gonna keep doing that. And remember, if the leaves wiggle around a little bit, that's okay, try your best to hold them in place. Okay, so I'm on my very last leaf. 
and I need to let this dry. It's got a lot of really big puddles, so I'm going to move it somewhere very carefully so that it's sitting out in the sun so that it will dry quickly. All right, so it dried pretty quick being out in the sun. Now I'm just going to lift up the leaves carefully and wow, it worked pretty pretty well. Some of the leaves you'll find work better than others. Remember, this type of art is more about the process. It's more about, um, it's not really about the final product, right? So you may have some leaves that worked out really well and some that didn't work at all, or maybe none of them worked. And that's really okay. This is all about the experimentation and the process. So if you pull up your leaves, and you have some really good ones, awesome. If not, you always can use a Sharpie to go around and add some definition to your piece if you want. So there's my final leaf. That one didn't work out that well, but it does have a cool outline around it. And there we go. Look at some of those prints. They turned out very nice. The colors themselves are beautiful as well. I'm very happy with it. I'm not going to add any Sharpie outlines at this time. There's another close-up for you. That's it. Thanks for watching.